What is going on everybody? My name is Nick and I want to welcome you back to another one of my music video reviews. Today, of course, the first actual release of this week is coming from Vix, titled Fantasy, and this this song is going to, of course, as Vix has done in the last few years, they the song is going to be dark, it's going to be grim, it may or may not be depressing, who exactly knows, but the title of the album is Hades, I do believe. So that is a pretty good clue as to what you're going to get out of this song. So I'm really eager to see what this is because they bring something different every time. It's always definitely something that is awesome as well. So like I said, let's check it out. I'm going to move video, first impressions, then review as I normally do right now. I'm really this this little uh, slow kind of intro verse here, which of course they they have to wrap they have to ramp it up a little bit because it wouldn't be super exciting if it's stuck at that sort of level. But I like that intro right there. It was definitely cool. Dude, this is awesome. Okay, so this is something that's completely different, right? Of course, like I said, it was going to be different, right? But it's 100% not the uh, a kind of like instrumentation, I guess, that you would expect in a K-pop song, which is definitely cool and unique. I like it. That's good. And for okay, and so that, that that like transition from the verse to the chorus is really abrupt, but but at the same time it doesn't feel like, you know, really weird or like a super kind of shock, you know? It just happens. I guess it's kind of supposed to be the point, right? It's supposed to just like hit really hard. It's supposed to have a big impact when it actually does happen. So I mean, it's cool. It has I guess it has a, the uh, desired effect right there. Without a doubt. This, this song is, is just bad ass. This is this song is ridiculous. It's such, the song is great. Like I said, it's a great song. A really, really great song from Vix right there. I mean, you're you're free to think otherwise. But then I'm free to think that you're crazy. So that, of course, you know, like I said, Vix does the the dark style and concept and sound. They've done it since for the last, you know, couple of albums, um, or last couple, I think, is a kind of an understatement. Let's say three or four. Their previous album or their previous uh, song and all that stuff wasn't particularly, as far as the music was concerned, wasn't super dark and grim. Um, but the music video kind of did have the dark sort of feeling to it. The, the previous one was a bit of a, uh, a bit different from what they'd been doing previously, which was good. I liked it a lot because, of course, it's a, it's a big change and it was a significant change from, you know, um, like Eternity and Voodoo Doll and whatever, whatever those other, you know, songs were, you know, but you know what I'm talking about. So that was good. This song, as far as like the visual and all that stuff, definitely does fall back in line with the, the three songs, you know, before their previous one and that's cool I like it they do a really really good job with that there's I don't think that there is um, any group in k-pop that can do this I don't even I honestly I'm not even sure if there's any group in k-pop that's even really willing to go in this direction for some reason it I don't I mean you don't really see boy groups going with a, a visual style that is sim like this similar or that is similar to this 
for for whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't think that it's because the visual is, you know, going to be a turnoff for people. But you know, what do I know? Maybe it is. Um, but the thing, the thing that the thing that makes this song really, really awesome, right, is that the one thing that it includes that, as far as I remember over the years that I've been doing, uh, that I've been like you know reviewing the, these you know K-pop releases, these music videos, these promotion songs, uh, there has not been really a single one that has had like orchestral instrumentation as the main you know focus of the music track. At any point during the song, there's there there has never been a K-pop song until now that has had, you know that 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 orchestral arrangement as the providing the main sound and audio for the chorus and for for the song. And of course, this happens during the chorus where you know the you know you have that hard impact right there before it actually the, the the chorus kicks off. There isn't really a transition from the verse, which is really slow, into the chorus. But for some reason, that doesn't really feel weird, you know? Like, I don't know. It was probably, obviously, what that just kind of goes to show is that it was a pretty well-composed sort of uh, transition right there. Because, you know, jumping jumping from one to the other is pretty pretty dramatic. And that was kind of my criticism or, you know, kind of the thing. Um, yeah, it, gen- generally, it's it just doesn't... doesn't feel good you know you want you want the flow of the song to feel good from your go when you're going from one point to the other so you, know, you start off with the really where well, you have the really super slow and you know down and i guess depressing a little bit sort of verses right there that intro was really really great and honestly even though it wasn't high high tempo or um you know like interest i, I guess like interesting there wasn't really anything that like stood out and caught my attention except for the fact that it was super super you know, down and, you know, kind of depressing a little bit. And that was cool. I was hooked on that. But you go from that and then you just quickly, you know, transition you, it, the, the chorus, it hits and flip and, and it flips over to, to, to the upbeat. You know, you got the orchestral instrumentation and all of that. And it's really, really great. I really, really like this song. It's got a completely different feel from like anything you're ever going to hear in K-pop, uh, especially it's going to be released this year. And that's really, really great. And I think that's one thing that Vix does or has been doing really, really well for the last half of their career, basically. They've been releasing music that is dramatically different from the rest of the, the boy groups in K-pop. And, you know, that sets them apart. And that is something that I really, really like. You know, I, I like a group that w- is willing to do something that will set themselves apart from the rest of their their competition whether or not you know the 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 consumer base of, of k-pop really approves of it i do and i definitely do encourage that because you know the diversity in the genre having new sounds and you know genre influences in in the k-pop music is really really good it makes the genre super super strong and diverse and means that there's something for everybody and i really like that vix you know brings something or an aspect of k-pop that or in one aspect to the the k-pop genre that there isn't any other group that does and that's the one reason that is probably the number one reason why i even started to really really like vix in the first place because they were different you know and then on top of that they're really good so of course i have to just you know love them so that's it i'm gonna i'm gonna quit rambling i'm gonna quit it because i've basically made my point said what i had to say made my points and you know we're just gonna finish with saying that i love vix because they're different from everybody else so you know like i said that's all i got that's all that i gotta say so and the reason i make these videos of course is not only to share my opinion but also to start a discussion down in the comments to hear what you guys have to say so if you've listened to this song which i think you have and i assume that you have then you should let me know what you think down in the comment box below. And if this is your first time here and you've made it all the way to the end of the video, I want to thank you. And if you like this video and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button because I will be uploading videos just about every single day as often as there is content to, you know, make a video about. So do that so you don't miss a single video that I upload in the future. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. The group in K-pop, I think one of the most, you know, where they're, you know, the vocal range that they can cover, you know, just naturally without actually like 
basically putting in their natural voices, I guess you can say, goes from the low end to the high end, and that is much different than a lot of other K-pop groups, most other K-pop groups with 